Jake in Texas. Welcome to the show. You're live with V and Dave. How can we help you today? Howdy, Dave. Howdy, V. Uh, thank you, too, for everything you do, everybody at the ACA included. Um, Absolutely. Thanks for calling I'm in. A, I'm a non-believer. Yeah, I'm a non-believer. My wife's a non-believer. We've been that way for a while. She's still on the deconversion fizzle. Um, my main reason for calling is her her mother suffered a bad spinal injury a few years ago. Okay. And she no longer can she no longer can do much much of anything for herself. Um, I mean she could still get around, but she she can't work, she can't, you know, she's helpless. So we we all moved her in and we've been taking care of her. Mm-hmm. She used to be a very bright and very bubbly woman. But um after she became a Christian, she completely changed. Mm-hmm. Um, I know that religion can make a lot of people happier and make them a better person, but it seemed to do the opposite for her. She became very racist, very bitter, very hateful. Um, she no longer considers people like she won't even look at a Muslim person. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's, you know, she calls... Even her her best friends that used to be, you know, lesbians, um, she calls them disgusting. You know, best friends that she grew up with. Mm. So on the flip side, she also doesn't take much of anything seriously. She's on the – she's she considers Kenneth Copeland's word law. She doesn't think coronavirus is – she thinks it's a satanic um, – conspiracy you know she thinks that vaccinations are the mark of the beast Mm -hmm. um and me and my wife are kind of watching her fall apart and cry every day and really her life has just been getting worse and worse and that's turning her more and more to god which has just been an endless feedback loop yeah and (laughs) it's, it's been really hard for us and we don't really know how to handle it yeah that sounds absolutely terrible not only because she must be in so much mental and sounds like even physical pain but now this is something that you guys have to watch happen and and don't really i'm assuming you you have taken her in and so this is something that is just in your life now right i have a question a question jake you said before she was a christian she was pleasant did she become a christian recently what's the history there Okay, so I guess she's always had an underlining belief. It's always kind of been there. Her whole family is there. However, um, she kind of thought that she was falling away and wanted to be born again. Hmm. So she kind of went through that whole therapy and conversion and everything. Gotcha. And, and how recent? Where, how uh, recent was? How recent was that? How- I'd say that happened about. Four, maybe four and a half years ago. It was long before the act, uh, before that happened to her. Okay. So how long has she, how long has she been with you guys? Um, about two and a half years. Okay. Where is she getting her information? Does she watch a lot of? I, I, it sounds like you know what I'm thinking of is a documentary called "The Brainwashing of My Father," mm. that you I've should see. That. Okay. It, it it sounds like you're describing exactly that. And and what they do, you might want to rewatch it again. And I'm not suggesting any nef- nefarious activity here, but they cut off those sources from her father, Jen Senko, and cut off. It told him the radio was broken. Uh, we couldn't get the channel on Fox. Fox wouldn't come into the house anymore. You know, they they just basically cut off his his sources of misinformation, and he changed back into the kind and gentle person that they once knew. Um, it sounds like your mom has been feeding at the trough of this right-wing QAnon nonsense that has uh, turned a lot of people into crazies. And um, I don't know if you can or if it was me, I'm just thinking I would try my best to cut, uh, cut her off from those sources to even, I don't know, mom, the internet's not working. I don't know what happened. I, I don't know how you do it, but it sounds to me like that's what's happening here. She's just getting a steady diet of that stuff, which makes it, 
it, it makes people crazy. It makes people believe the most crazy and uh, lunatic fringe ideas. Is that possible? Is that what's happening? Uh, that's that's absolutely nail on the head, but I've got to give you the kicker. Her mom is actually a minister. Okay. And that would be my wife's grandmother. Okay. She is actually a minister, and she is even worse off than she is now. She, very, very. She, she thinks the entire coronavirus is a hoax. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not getting off on that tan- on that tangent. But, well, um, they sound like QAnon. We, we wanted- they sound like they sound like died in the world QAnon, and and yeah. that's what's that's what's going on in in the world around us. And I've met some. I've talked to them. People who are in every other way rational and intelligent human beings have gone down these rabbit holes of conspiracy, and it's completely derailed them. Yeah, and it, it's horrible. I, I and the only way I know. And there's some there's some resources out there. I've been seeing some some YouTube. I haven't seen it myself, but some reference. Maybe V, you know, but some YouTube pe- uh, people and books being written about how to deal with QAnon, the best way to approach them, and the best way to help them come. Because you're dealing with someone who's enmeshed in a cult. Yeah. And 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 we know that you can't just confront a cult member and say, "Hey, you're an idiot. Your ideas are stupid." You've got to approach it a different way or they'll put up defenses that you can't get past. And so maybe you can find some of those resources and begin to appeal to them to come back to reason. What do you think, Vio? Do you know some of those sources? Um, not off the top of my head, but I agree to, to, to treat this less as a just a religious thing. Um, I, I know that before you kind of drew that. Well, I know some, religion can make some people's lives better. And it hasn't done that with my mom or it sounds like your grandmother-in-law either. Uh, I would, yeah, I would caution to, this is more cult-like. <laughs> this is a cult. This is a cult. This, this is a cult. This yeah. is not just religion. This is bigger than that and, 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 and much more damaging in, in many ways. Um, my thought here too is, do you, does your mom get therapy? Okay. Yes, but because of the coronavirus and things like that, she hasn't really been able to do that very well. Okay. I would um, highly recommend trying to find somebody who will give the therapy online, uh, virtual visits, because a lot of the instinct, a lot of the drive to find solace in these conspiracy theories, in these cults, is that that reach out for help is that reach out for support in a very unhealthy way from an unhealthy place. So hopefully, um, hey Dave, uh, do you know of any resources for people who might want to get a secular therapist involved in things? Well, V, yes I do, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Uh, Recovering from Religion has uh, a, a cousin there, the Secular Therapy Project that uh, sprang forth out of recovering from religion. So if you look if you look them up, they can refer you to someone. And I'm sure most of the therapists, in fact, probably all of them are doing virtual visits now. Mm-hmm. So I would definitely tag into that resource and you'll find someone that can help in a real way. Yeah. Uh, having somebody who is a secular therapist who will hold uh, that line and not be too forgiving or gloss over <clears throat> the harm that the religious and cult-like conspiracies are doing Excuse me. is very important and I think would be in addition to of course you know maybe setting up those parental controls um, where you can uh, would be a good next step uh, but we are almost at the end of the episode Jake I'm sorry you're going through this, man. This sounds yeah, and that sucks. Yeah, I'm sorry, Jake. Okay. I know it's do, tough. Do I have time for one more quick question? Uh, super quick. What can we help you with? Um, how could you get past a uh, see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil barrier where she won't even touch it? She won't even touch a secular therapist. Don't tell her it's secular. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Say hey, I know you wanted a therapist. I know that COVID's getting in the way of that. I found someone for you and. You know, here's somebody who will be able to help and talk through stuff with you. You don't need her to know. That doesn't necessarily even have to enter into the conversation. Thank you guys so much. You're wonderful. Thank All you right, so Jake. much. Good luck, buddy. Good luck. Hey. Woof. 
That's uh, yeah, this this QAnon stuff is just batshit fucking crazy. I'm so it's it's sick so of it. scary. It is really very very heartbreaking to see family just kind of fall down that hole and not be able to climb back out. Yeah, it's just insane. It Sorry. really, really is. 